Welcome back to the Stream Loots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and Stream Loots. My name is Preacher and in today's video we're going to be talking about the recent influx of DMCA takedown notices given out to streamers, what you need to know about it, and what you need to do. A few weeks ago, more streamers on the Twitch platform have received DMCA takedown requests. Again, for those who are unfamiliar with what DMCA is, it is the Digital Millennium Copyright Act that is implemented to protect labels from their music being distributed without permission on your content. Check the link in the description below to our other video where we dialogue more in detail about DMCA. On October 20, Twitch tweeted out directly to their streamers that the emails that were sent out were to inform them that one or more of their VODs or clips had received a DMCA takedown over the past few months. The reason why a lot of streamers are upset about this right now is because there's not an easy mechanism for identifying which of your clips and which of your VODs have copywritten material in them. And when you're talking about streamers who have been on the platform for years have thousands and thousands of clips with hundreds and hundreds of hours of content, you could see why this process would be grueling. Not to mention the fact that content creators are literally deleting their work. Twitch streamer and YouTuber Devin Nash responded by saying, it's insane saying that Twitch informs partners they deleted their content and there's more content in violation despite having no identification system to find out what it is. Their solution to DMCA is for creators to delete their life's work. This is pure gross negligence. Now for me personally, I understand why DMCA exists, it makes sense, but the way that the platform is going about it has been, well, complicated. Now, right off the bat, if you are a content creator trying to use the Twitch platform to grow your channel, this is really important. It's important because if you don't take notice to these types of conversations, you could be at risk for being striked or essentially banned from the platform. So obviously this is an important conversation to be having right now, as frustrating as it might be, and we wanted to do our part in resourcing you with knowledge and tools to help you manage your content to keep you from receiving DMCA takedown notices. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to manage your content, your VODs and your clips through your creator dashboard on Twitch. Once you've logged in and you go to your creator dashboard, you're gonna be able to navigate to your VODs and your clips by going to the content section here and then going to the video producer. This is gonna show you all of your recent VODs from your past streams and in order to delete them, you're gonna to have to click this here on each individual video and click delete. From here to manage our clips, we have a little bit more of a time efficient option. Uh, we can click here to select all of the recent clips that we've created and the same thing with clips that others have created and delete all of them in mass. Now, why they don't have this option available for the VODs, I have no idea, but it is what it is. Okay, so that's managing your clips. Now let's talk about some of the tools that you can implement with music specifically to keep yourself safe. Now the first option I'm gonna show you is something recently released by Twitch that is in beta and it is Soundtrack. Soundtrack is a Twitch provided resource that you can use right now free of charge that has multiple genres of music and as they say in their FAQ for Soundtrack, it's a new tool specifically for Twitch creators to feature licensed music within their live streams while also creating a new way for musicians to be discovered by the Twitch community. As you can see in the application, they have a variety of genres and stations that you can choose from with about 50 songs in each. And here's the thing with Soundtrack. As they say in their FAQ, when you set it up properly as a separate audio source in your live streaming software, such as OBS or Streamlabs OBS, the music from Soundtrack will play on your live stream so your viewers will hear it but it will not be included in your VODs. Now that's just a really brief crash course to soundtrack and we'll leave a link in the description below to the FAQ that I just referred to so you can learn more about it. If you're looking for another free option that requires absolutely no setup, Harris Heller, who is a Twitch streamer and YouTuber, has put together an incredible resource called Streambeats. Streambeats is 100% free and Harris has actually put out several different genres of playlists so you can get a little bit of variety within the songs that you'd have in the background. If you're willing to pay a small monthly fee or an annual fee for music in your content, there's some other great options such as Epidemic Sound or Monster Cat. Both of these options give you access to music that you can purchase licensing for by using their monthly subscription 
and they have a very very large library of songs to choose from now again those are just a few of the options that are available to you as a content creator to get access to licensable music that will keep you from receiving a DMCA takedown notice the fact remains that this is a very real thing and more real than it's ever been in the streaming industry so make sure to take advantage of some of the resources that we've talked about in this video and keep your account free from DMCA strikes that's it for this video you guys we hope that you enjoyed it we hope that this is helpful for your content creation journey if it was helpful please let us know by giving us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you think about this DMCA takedown wave that's been going on in the streaming industry have you received a email from Twitch regarding DMCA takedown notice are there resources that you're using right now that are DMCA strike free as always to stay up to date with all things streaming and stream loots make sure to click that subscribe button right now and turn your alerts on so you don't miss out on the future content that we have coming out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.